I think the book is more or less a pure adventure. You're taking a boat at sea, and you're ha navigating storms, and you're dealing with man-eating sharks, and you're having to do it with a crew that's inexperienced. So you have to take this perilous journey to get to this place hoping to find a Valhalla, and, and discovering when you get there that, that the moral center of the place has been compromised. A lot of this story takes place in the southern Bahamas on this little island of Rum Key. If you write about a little society, a tiny place which is only 10 or 12 miles long, and it, but yet everything is baked in, the passion, the love, the trees. And I just decided to rip the cover off the illusion. There's going to be some real characters in this book. Fred's a real character in this book. John Mitchell's a real character in this book. James Roll is a real character in this book. And Bobby Little is a real character in this book. And they're rendered, not exactly, but pretty accurately. Then I have a whole other set of characters in the book that are works of fiction. They might, might have been based initially on someone that I met, or they might combine the characters of several people. And it amused me to take these real characters and introduce them to fictional characters and see what happens. I didn't want to jazz it up with like a lot of philosophy about life. I, I didn't want it to be impeded by a lot of stylistic flourishes. I just wanted to tell an adventure and tell it well.